Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! No MI6 officers will face charges over the alleged detention and torture of an opponent of the former Libyan leader, Colonel Gaddafi, in 2004. Abdul Hakim Belhaj is one of two men who claimed that the British spy agency played a significant part in his rendition. That's the illegal movement of people from one country to another to face interrogation. Our security correspondent, Gordon Carrera, has the story. The man who says he was sent by Britain to Libya to be tortured, with his wife speaking for the first time on TV about what happened to her. They are angry at today's decision that no one will face criminal charges. I'm very disappointed that individuals responsible will not be prosecuted. If there is political interference with the courts, then it undermines British justice. Abdul Hakim Belhaj had fought to overthrow Colonel Gaddafi's regime. When Tony Blair embraced Colonel Gaddafi in 2004, as relations were warming up, British spies were helping the Libyan leader get hold of his opponents. It was only when Gaddafi was overthrown in 2011 that details first publicly emerged, suggesting MI6 had worked with the CIA to send Belhaj and another man to Libya. Documents were found in Gaddafi's ransacked intelligence headquarters from Britain's MI6. Belhaj is referred to as a terrorist in letters allegedly written by Sir Mark Allen, then MI6's head of counter-terrorism. One document reminds the Libyans that the intelligence behind Belhaj's capture by the CIA was British, though it says the Americans paid for what's called the air cargo. That air cargo included Belhaj's wife, six months pregnant at the time and strapped onto a stretcher for the journey. My hands and legs were tied and my eyes were covered. They injected me with something. I didn't know where I was going. I was six months pregnant. I was so scared that I was going to die. She was released after four months, but her husband was held for six years and says he was tortured by the Libyans. The emergence of the documents led to a police investigation into MI6, which produced 28,000 pages of evidence. But today, the Crown Prosecution Service said witnesses could not recall sufficient detail and it thought the evidence was not strong enough to secure a prosecution. We don't understand how the CPS can say, on the one hand, British officials were definitely involved in rendition, and on the other hand, nobody is going to stand trial for it. The real question for all of us is, is MI6 subject to the law or are they above the law? There will be relief inside MI6 that no former officers face prosecution. Those who've worked inside acknowledge that mistakes were made, though, in the early years of the war on terror. But critics will say that today's decision means no one will be held to account. Gordon Carrera, BBC News.